Hey Warriors, it's time for a little bit of real talk and today I want to talk to you about accepting your life with a brain injury. It's something that I have struggled with over the past couple of years but um, something happened today in the gym that really gave me a lift and I hope that through this video and sharing some ideas and my experience then hopefully you can learn to be more at peace and acceptance of your brain injury too. So it's, um, it's January 2020, um, it's the new year, we naturally do a bit of reflecting time and not only is it a new year, it's a new decade as well and over the weekend I woke up with this feeling of where has my spirit of adventure gone, I was just feeling really low and I just, um, I just felt as though I'd kind of lost that fire in my belly um, but so many people, especially on Instagram, were so kind with messages of support and ideas for how you deal with acceptance too and you know, it is um, kind of just reassuring to know that I'm not the only one that goes through this. Um, but I had been feeling that um, I want more from my life, my old life um, was a lot more energetic than my new one. Um, but. I know that I have been making progression and I generally am accepting of where I am. Through um, strength training at the gym, I started that last year and that I suppose is where I feel as though I really got my sparkle. So I want to share with you just some progression and a win that I had today in the gym and then I'll give you some ideas too on just how you could maybe learn to be more accepting. Rewind to October of 2019, I'd been um, personal training, um, my personal trainer Alana Donaldson had been helping me out for a few months at that point and on the leg press I had gone from 30 kilos to 40 kilos up to 80 kilos which was um, you know a really big win for me just in that period of October and so I set myself a goal for the end of December I, by the end of last year, I wanted to leg press 100 kilos. I absolutely smashed it. So watch this video for a little bit of proof. <laughs> And so as we turned into the new year 2020, I set myself a goal for the gym, have other goals as well, but for the gym I wanted to leg press 150 kilos because I thought, well, if I can do 100, then maybe it took me a few months to get there. So I thought, well, realistically, we'll go another 50%, so 150 kilos. Um, so today I started, Alana had me doing 80 kilos on the leg press and then we went up to 120 and then we did another set of 140 kilos on the leg press where it was doing 12 reps so 12 reps from there for them all and so we carried on with a couple of other exercises at the session and towards the end of the session Alana said Anne you just don't realize how strong you are and I thought right okay I'm gonna go for 150 so here's a little photo to prove it <laughs> oh my goodness I can't believe it so I'm about 54 kilos now so 150 kilos on the leg press is nearly three times my body weight and I only just hit a hundred two weeks ago so now I'm thinking oh my goodness like this is just insane I'm super proud of myself I've smashed my goal that I was meant to do for the whole year in the first week so maybe oh I don't know maybe let's just go shall we say 250 kilos I think that's like a quarter of a ton so yeah that feels like that is something to aim for for the end of the year. So when it comes to acceptance, I know that I use the gym um, as something to give me a focus, give me a purpose, something that isn't necessarily about the brain injury recovery. It's separate from that, but I know it gives me a focus, but I also know that overall, what I'm doing in the gym is helping my recovery because there's a lot of things that I do consistently and it's the repetition over and over and over again when you just keep trying and doing these are the things that 
that help create the new um, pathways in your brain. So um, a few tips that I have you I have for you when it comes to acceptance. Um, and really when I give you these tips, the it is exercise, it is strength training that does it for me, but it can be absolutely anything, anything for you. So the first thing that I would say to you is to find something that you enjoy doing. Like I said, for me, it's strength training. It gets me fired up. It makes me feel like, wow, my body can do amazing things and it's coming from the brain. So whether it's strength training in the gym, whether you do um, puzzles, you might do sudoku, sudoku, you might do yoga, whatever it is, you don't necessarily think have to think that it's something that is going that you're doing specifically to heal your brain but over time these things are absolutely um, going to help so find something that you enjoy and it doesn't have to be something that you did in your I would say your old life so before your brain injury just find something that that you enjoy for now um, the next thing I would say is forget about your old abilities. Now I know that this is this is a hard one because it's natural that you're going to want to compare yourself to your previous life. Um, but I like to think that everything that you achieved, everything that you did in your previous life before your brain injury, it helps um, shape you. So while you're evolving, you're becoming your new you, your version two, and it might feel like, it, well for me it definitely feels like so much of that person is gone but she's still here, I know she's still here and that spirit of ad adventure that I had before, it is still here, it really is still here. It's just hard that I don't have the same ability so I'm just trying to channel what I can do um, in a different way and just concentrate on that. Another thing, the third thing I would say to you is to live in the moment and focus more on the now. Now, I know that when you're thinking about your recovery, you want to be thinking, it's natural that you want to think, well, where am I going to be in a year's time, six months time? What am I going to be able to do? Am I going to be able to do the old things that I used to do? And you get, you do get frustrated. It's natural, you really do. But what I would say to you is to focus on the now and it's not to say that you won't go on and achieve big things it's just what I think helps me is just to focus on what I can actually do now and I set myself little goals and just keep working away at them and when it comes to goals as well when you are setting yourself goals and you're being consistent and I know that this is hard as well because you might have fatigue, there are a whole bunch of things that could be getting in your way, but if you can try and if you can just do and show up for your thing, whatever that thing is for you, whatever that thing that makes you happy, just do that, just keep doing that. And you might not be able to see the progress, you might not be able to see it day to day or week to week or month to month, but when you look back over a period of time and you maybe tracking these goals with how you're getting on as well you will see that progress because like I said I was when I started it was like 30 kilos on the leg press and then 40 and then over in October I got up to 80 at the end of last year I hit 100 and I don't know sheer will I don't know what got into me today but I was just like all fired up I'm strong I'm going to do this and bang 150 kilos on the leg press so um, to finish up I would just say be kind to yourself because I know it's really really hard when you just you want more from your life and you're struggling I know I really know how that feels but please warriors be kind to yourself and let your sparkle shine one day at a time and I really do hope that we can all heal together so guys, if you find this useful, I would love it if you would subscribe, just tap up here to subscribe and then there's a wee bell notification as well. And if you tap on that, then it'll make sure you get notified of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you soon.